every company will have their web application as well as their mobile application server suppose i am testing a native mobile application right now suppose do you think that the process for testing this application will be similar as compared to a testing a web application fragmentation in the mobile devices is more as compared to the web application that's the one of the problem that we have in mobile testing that's why mobile testing is actually quite complex and the number of test cases you will see are more as compared to web application so today we are basically covering mobile mobile testing overview what are things after this session you will get it right you will see what exactly is mobile testing what are different types of mobile testing how practical mobile testing is basically done if you are doing it manually right how it is done if you are doing through automation how it is done and will show showcase or demo also for the apm which will be helpful for you to see how easy it is if you have a command over a programming language right for example it can be a python or it can be a java but right now this demo is basically in java but we'll basically see how easy it is to work with any kind of mobile testing right and it is not different as compared to the web automation that we have done let's get started first of all mobile app testing right what exactly it is mobile app testing is nothing but like you have a desktop application like you have web application right you have mobile apps also that you basically want to test first of all you have to know what are the different types of basically mobile testing generally we do you know what when i started uh, my career right i was in a tv tv is a small startup where what we used to do is we used to basically test the hardware of a mobile also okay see instead of software we used to test the hardware also. so what exactly is hardware testing in that case is for example if you have a mobile phone right uh, you want to test uh, the connectivity wi-fi range right all these are basically your hardware testing hardware testing is something that you guys will be doing it very rarely if you are going to join a particular startup where actually they are launching a new phone so when i was uh, in a tv right they were launching a new phone with the name of creo sense creo sense was an operating system and they launched a phone known as creo c r e o you can google it this around so we were testing that thing. so that was hardware test after that not only that we have to test something which is software so in software right the actual thing started right now whatever the company that you are going to join right every company will have their web application as well as their mobile application server for example right now we have a testing academy web portal right zenla we are using right if you know even we have the heartbeat app or the sd.club we are using right all will have their respective mobile applications right as a software so your task will be to test the software mostly in this case right so mobile application apps that you see that you have already installed right are divided into three parts which is native applications mobile web applications and hybrid applications right there are three types now this is the major 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 difference that you need to pay attention so platform wise native basically means it is natively made for a specific phone specific os for example whenever i say a application i have made this is the application that i have made this is a facebook application and i have used a native thing in this case native thing basically means this is specifically made for the android that's the important thing and if i have to make the same application for ios then i have to code in a their native language which means that i have to create an application two times natively in case of uh, android natively in case of ios os in this case native apps basically are specific to platform right then you have second type of application which is mobile web applications mobile web basically means they can work on any platform any platform basically means these applications are made in a such a way where you basically use a network to access them right and it can work on any platform for example it can work on android and ios so these are very another important right and they generally use web technologies so web technologies because they are in generic in nature they are not very platform dependent so it means you can directly run your code or you don't have to code specifically for android you don't have to code specifically for os what you will do is whatever the web related codes are there right both android and ios or any other operating system for example a blackberry os is there or some some other symbian is there for nokia right they can run your web technologies after that there is a mixture of both of them which is called as hybrid application also which can also work with any platform and web technologies right offline functionality the main difference if you see right native applications are something where you have to code in their native os which whichever the language is there for example if you have to create a native application in android which language you think is available right now mostly java right right now if you see there are bindings are available where you can write in python it will convert into 
Java, then it will can run. You can use multiple languages nowadays because they eventually convert this code right now. But actually, if you see Android was behind the scene, it's mostly core platform is still Java in this. So every native app that you see, right? What is the advantage of native app is that they have a higher performance. This is the very important thing. And you have access to all the features. For example, you have access to camera, internal functions, right? File storage and everything. If you create an application with the native, you can have a full access to the device features, right? Whereas a mobile web application, especially or hybrid, right? They have a limited set of uh, what we call accesses. This is the major limit limitation in this case. But majority of one, for example, if say, there are hundred of features you want to access 70 percent which are important those are basically available in both hybrid and as well as in net so this is very important another important point is web apps or the hybrid apps are closed platform in nature which means the same application can run on the android it can run on the ios right so they are basically made on the web technology stack so they are generic in nature in mostly whereas if you have to code a native application you have to use very platform specific code in this case that's the important part. So the difference if you take about, right, it is that platform affinity, native apps are designed. See, native apps are designed for specific platform. So it means every OS, they have a net native language, which basically can access all the features. Android had a uh, Java. iOS right now have uh, the shift Windows phone that we used to have, right? They had C sharp at the time, right? But again, the bindings are already available. Binding basically means you can convert the code into their respective to make it like a native. So native applications typically return using the platform SDKs, which are basically very specific to it. Whereas web, app, web apps or hybrid applications are basically returned in the web technology, which is HTML, CSS or JavaScript, which means that whenever you basically open a web app or a hybrid application, right? These are nothing but made in a web technologies, which can basically are integrated with the native, but they have a limited set of permissions available. That's the important point, right? So see native apps can be updated through the app squares, right? I think which is Google store or play store. This is there. And whereas other application, native applications specifically are centrally maintained. This is important. All right. So apart from this, let's see the difference between the, this is the important point, which you need to difference, which is mobile devices versus web apps. What are the, what is the difference between this? Do you think that when you are testing a mobile application, suppose I'm testing a native mobile application right now, suppose, do you think that the process for testing this application will be similar as compared to a testing a web application? For example, we have tested app.vw.com, right? Do you think the process will be similar? No, right? So process will be little different in this way. That's a very important point. Something is similar process. Actually, if you see right overall is similar, but the test cases that you have in case of mobile app, you have extra things that you have to check it out. When we are testing a web application, we know that we are on a good internet. Suppose I'm testing app.vw.com, right? Suppose this is it. I am assuming that I have a good, good internet collection, right? I have 100 MPS and it is loading absolutely fine. Whereas if you are on a mobile phone, right, there can be some person from South Africa who are right now on a 2G network or 3G network. There can be some person from uh, Afghanistan who are on a 3G network. There can be some person from uh, Thailand who are on a 5G network or India. Right now we have a 5G network, right? Yes or no? For different type of network, it changes. Not only this, resolution changes, right? For example, you have this size of phone. Somebody has this size of phone. Somebody has very small size of phone. So features wise and fragmentation, we call this fragmentation. Fragmentation in the mobile devices is more as compared to the web application. That's the one of the problem that we have in mobile testing. That's why mobile testing is actually quite complex and the number of test cases you will see are more as compared to web application. The things basically changes whenever we have range of mobile devices, different screen, different hardware, different brands, even brands are different, right? Right. So Samsung, Apple, Xiaomi, right? All these are basically there. And apart from this uh, mobile operating system, we have Android, we have iOS, we have Blackberry, Windows, Symbian, right? So Windows still exists, by the way, guys. If you see the traffic distribution, right? Right now, if somebody want to access your business, right? For example, I have app.vw.com, I'm running. So if you see 52% is basically uh, the traffic generally will come from the mobile. So we have to test our application or mobile application, right? VW has a mobile application, by the way. So
So fragmentation by OS, if you see, right, this is what I want. Samsung almost 32, 33%. Apple almost 21%. Hawaii, Xiaomi, Oppo, and there are number of them. There are number of manufacturers are there. Distribution by Android, if you see there, there are there are people still on the KitKat version. So the difference is very, very huge. If you have to test a mobile application, you should have a different mindset as compared to the web application.